Hi guys, because I have 3,200 of you fantastic um, subscribers now, I thought I would do a giveaway. So the two coasters that I do in this video will be the prize. Now there's a certain word I say in the video that I use for cells. What I'd like you to do is find that word and leave it in the comments. No cheating guys. Play fair. So watch the video in the entirety. When you find out what my little word is for the cells leave it in the description and you will all go into the draw to win the two coasters all right guys here's the video hi guys in today's video i thought we'd have a play with some cheap ebay pigments mica pigments so they come in 10 gram bags there's various suppliers on ebay or amazon that do sell them so I figured we'd have a bit of a play with those now my pour and medium that I use I'll move this is Torben's Easy Coat Door and Trim it's a neutral base and it's gloss it is super super thick okay so that's like really thick. So what I do is mix it with some Jasonia gloss varnish to thin it out. Now I roughly go three to one, four to one, depending on what the temperature's like over here. So I'll just use a little 20 mil measuring spoon I'll grab three or four scoops of that throw it into a plastic cup grab one scoop of the Joe Sonia squirt that in then mix it so once you mix that up the consistency is like that so it's still quite thick but when I mix the pigments, I'll be mixing in Joe Sonia with the pigments to disperse them. So that will get thinner again. Okay. So what I'll do is put you back in the stand. Okay. Like so. Right. Little pigments. What we'll do is start with any random color. I mean, I'm going to mix them all up and we're going to do a bloom with them. But rather than you watch me mix up five, six, seven bags of pigments, I'll just do the one and then we'll go from there. Okay. So what I'll do is obviously wear a mask because any of these fine mica particles going up into your lungs really isn't good so I'll start with a scoop like that which is maybe a teaspoon okay please wear a mask because this stuff's nasty okay I get the Joe Sonia Put a little squirt of that in there. So there's that much in there. When you mix it, even though you've got a mask on, keep it as far away from your face as possible. Because any of these fine particles can end up in your eyes and your nose and your ears. All sorts of weird places. All through your hair. It's amazing just how far they go. So, 
keep it as far away as possible. So what we'll do is mix that in to disperse all those pigments. Okay, that still looks a bit thick. So what I'll do is just add a little bit more Jasonia. And mix that in. It just helps all those little pigments separate and it becomes like a paint with the Jasonia. A bit like mixing tube paints in with your, your pourer mediums. Okay, so we'll mix that in like that. Make sure it's good and mixed. No lumpy bits, no dry bits. Scrape the sides. Okay, so once it's all dispersed like that, what we're going to do is add some pour and medium to it. Now, I usually don't measure things, but today for the sake of this I'm going to so I'm going to put about 20 mil of the pouring medium in because I know that's roughly about where it is where it needs to be so we'll scoop some of that in I'll start with about 15 mil first okay 15, we'll start at that. Now we'll mix that in. Give it a good mix. Now even those are quite cheap pigments. They're like five or six dollars a 10 gram bag. They're still quite nice. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing a bloom And that, for my liking, is just a little bit too thin still. It leaves maybe a one or two second trace on the top. Before it disappears. Help if I could hold it in front of the camera. Good idea. Okay, so I'm going to thicken that up with an extra 5 mil. So if I take that little stick out. Take that up to 20. Yep, about there. Okay. So we mix that in. That should thicken it up just a little bit. Okay, now I use the exact same consistency for when I do a swipe. So the bloom or swipe, that's the exact same consistency I use. Okay. So rather than me make all these colours up and have you sit there and watch them, I'll pause it here, make up the colours, and then we'll go across and do a couple of blooms on coasters. Okay, back in a minute. Okie dokie. They're all mixed up now. All roughly the same consistency. Now, one of the blues, I actually modified it and changed it to a purple. Just by adding a little drop of the Atelier Free Flow dioxazine purple in it which is a transparent so if you use a transparent color you can modify the colors of your pigments it only takes a tiny drop and you go from that color blue to a really cool purple so you're still going to see all your mica through it because it's a transparent color Yet we just made a new colour. Okay, so what we'll do is 
put that across to one side move that bottle there we'll grab a four inch tile to play with hopefully I don't choke myself on the cable again right so pillow paint this is just British paints low sheen house paint used for interior walls not ceilings ceiling ones tend to crack and go chalky and do all sorts of weird things which isn't real good okay we will grab just random colors doesn't really matter what order we put these ones in what I've also got is a tube paint which was quinacridone magenta so that's a tube paint we'll be mixing in with it as well just so we don't have all pigments I mean you can do it all pigments but things tend to sink and do weird things every now and again so for what we're doing we'll put some of that down one side I'll grab what shall we go with we'll just go random doesn't really matter so I'm gonna go some purple that's the one that has liquitex dioxazine purple mixed in with it but it's still got the original blue mica in it okay so whoop losing the camera okay that's better so your colors if I move the light move the light across a bit you can see all the lovely mica color through it now that's just the cheap stuff you can get off eBay or Amazon as far as the petalytical side of things go with cheap micas, I'm not even going to delve into it. It's up to you where you buy your micas from, what brands they are, who sells them. So, if you know a little about what's been going on with micas from overseas, you'll understand if not have a look on google i'm keeping well out of that one anywho keep putting some colors down and we'll go with this one at the end that'll do now i'm using Amsterdam paints for my cell activator so it's Amsterdam lamp black mixed with Australian flow troll and I'll be using titanium white mixed with Australian flow troll so we'll start with that first put some black down Grab some white. Okay, we'll blow that one out. Now you probably won't be able to see because I can't reach into the plastic tub and my headphones are well and truly in the way.
Okay. So that's it blowing out. Now if you want to see close-up shots of blooms being blown out, Lisa Marvin has a really good video on how to blow out blooms. If I can remember, because I'm just a mere male, um, I'll link that video into the description. Same as Cy Frost, he's got a fantastic one for blowing out blooms, as well as Shelley Carruthers from Shelley Art. So there's quite a few out there. Even Jody, the painter dreamer, she's got some great videos on blowing blooms out. Unfortunately, I can't show you because of the stupid camera angle that I've got, and I'm playing inside a big plastic tub because I am one of the messiest people you will ever come across. Believe me. All right, so we'll let that sit for a couple of seconds. Let's do its thing. Let's just cell activated, just pop up all those lovely little jelly beans. If you want to go in, you can do little things. Most of this is all going to spin off the edge anyway. Doesn't really matter. Like so. Okay, so this is what she looks like before we spin it right out. Hopefully you can see all those crazy mica shimmery colours that are in there. Okay, I'll give that one a spin. Now you don't need to go like super fast when you spin it out. It um, tends to elongate all your cells and make them really stretched out. It looks, well, weird. But, you know, each to your own. So that's just plodding along. That's not super fast. It just looks quick because it's spinning on a camera. Try and keep your tile as close to the center of your spinner as possible. You've got less chance of it sliding off and doing all sorts of crazy things. Okie dokie. That one is pretty good. I'll just pop that up. Oh. Stirring sticks. That's usually what I use. They're from Fluid Art Co. So it's Fluid Dot Art Co. Or something. The link's in the description anyway. Reusable, washable. So you don't have to keep buying heaps of little wooden sticks. Okay, so that's it all spun out. How pretty are those colours? Wow. So, realistically guys, if you're working on a budget and you can't afford all the top end brand stuff, you can still get away with using the cheap mica powders. I mean... They still work, they do their thing. That'll still look exactly the same when it's dried and resined. I've used hundreds of different brands of micas and pigments and different brands of paints and I've had a quite a good play with all the different types of stuff, so. I only show you things that actually work and if they don't work, I'll let you know. That way, you can actually do it yourself, have a bit of a play. But that one turned out quite nice. Also, always scrape any paint off from under the edge of your tile. Otherwise, those drips drag the paint off the top of your tile. And then you end up with wonky cells and all sorts of crazy stuff. 
so that one worked out really good I'll pause it here this is going to be a long video um, we might do a swipe with those same paints just so you can see it'll do a bloom it'll do a swipe and they still look really pretty okay so I'll pause it here and we'll do a swipe okay guys we're back pillow paints down that's the same pillow paint as before which is the British Paints house paint low sheen so I figured we just have a bit of a play do a swipe with exactly the same stuff and see how that one turns out as well if I don't wipe out the camera in the process which I probably will because oops I think this one will do some big jelly bean cells just for giggles so we're going to lay some colours down random here there and everywhere now these are all the same pigments from the bloom just laying them down random all over the place what did I do with the chew paint you don't have to put it in but we will anyway it's all the same colors as before that way it's all the same okay. you don't have to go all the way to the edges on this one because a lot of that's going to slide off spin off etc etc but it's all good all right that's all the colors that i used now what we'll do is grab a playing card I like these as swipe tools on little four inch tiles Oop. cable I really need some um, wireless headphones because I'm gonna choke myself with this cable okay so I'm putting black cell activator down which is the same one I used previously Amsterdam lamp black I'm going to add a little bit of the white over the top of the black like so grab it by two fingers start there and just drag it across see how the card didn't hit the edges that's why I said you don't need your paint all the way to the edges it really doesn't matter all that's going to spin off because there's a whole heap of paint on there okay so then what I'll do is give that a bit, bit of a tilt like that float it around stretch some of them cells out that way you get nice big jelly bean ones okay before I spin that out I'll move some of this paint then what I'm going to do is because I wreck everything got to grab the skewer and just put some random patterns through it why not you don't have to you can just leave big wide open cells as it spins out them cells get bigger but I just like putting crazy patterns through things because it's just that little bit different uh, I'll give this one a spin try and get as close to the center as possible of your spinner go back 
the other way, just even things up a bit. That looks pretty quick, but it's all right. Okay, now then, if you want, you can go in and add some little modifications through different places if you like. Or you can just leave it as it's spun out, entirely up to you. So, that's what you get. from just cheap eBay micas. Perfect for beginners to have a crack at because it's not going to cost you an absolute arm and a leg to start off with half a dozen different colours but they um, only come in small bags yeah they're cheap but when you weigh it up it's um, more cost effective to use quality products anyway to start with because you don't use half as much of the stuff it's um, false economy really when you think about it but if you just want to have a bit of a play and try different colors different designs patterns the cheap stuff works really well anyway so as the last one wipe it off bubble no it's a bit of goop in it nice job eyes like a hawk okay so yeah that's just nice cheap mica pigments all right guys hope that was informative if you like what you saw Hit the like button, share it, subscribe, ring the notification bell. That way you get to see all my videos as soon as they are released. Okay, thanks heaps, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.